Moco Polo Playthrough and Replayability Review. So now we are about to start the game in a game of Marco Polo. First thing you need to do, select your character card. You get dealt two and you get to choose the one you want. And then those are public facing. You set up your character based on what it is and you get two travel cards. Those are secret and you have to try to build houses based on the locations where you have um you're traveling to and you get bonus points based on the number of these locations that you end up with a house in uh, so that's kind of bonus points and you get points if you have both the beginning and the end of one of those cards so that's the travel aspect um, but there are lots of other ways to gain points within this game yeah, uh, so you can also gain points through contracts, which I'm going to put out now. And there are bonus points on the board. There are little, uh, essentially like little bonus areas you can activate during the game to get points. There's a lot of different ways to get points. So it's not just purely travel based. Uh, at the end of the game, you can trade in money. It's a bad use of money, mind you, but I think it's $10 for one point. And then whoever has the most contracts fulfilled receives seven points as well. We have our boards that do not fit within the upper camera, so you're just going to have to take our word for it. The game plays out over five rounds, uh, and I think we're pretty much just going to dive in and explain it as we go. So as Lisa's explained, we have our starting characters and we have our routes. Lisa's starting character's power is that the character starts in Beijing, and she's allowed to put her house down, which gives her 10 victory points, which is a pretty nice start. Other than that, though, that's basically the entire starting power of, uh, or that's the entire power of the entire game for that character. So you get the 10 point head start, and you're further over on the board, which is harder to get to, but, but that's about that. The character that I have chosen, Nicola and Marco Polo, I get two explorers and the game usually just gives you one so I can move when I do a movement I can move one or the other along the board uh, so that's nice and every turn I get a camel the way that that works is the start of the turn I get a camel so Lisa's first player she gets two camels and seven dollars to start I am the second player I get eight dollars and two camels to start I'm going to add my one for my starting character I am starting with three excellent so this is a dice placement game so you're die need to be rolled so we haven't done that yet for the round if your die do not add up to be 15 then you do get the difference in either money or camels depending on what you would prefer but seeing as i have 14 i would be allowed to have one i will take a camel okay and i rolled a lowly 13 so i will take two camels uh in the game they give you regular size essentially meeples and large size meeples. The large size meeples count as three. So I'm going to take a three and give back one as change. Okay, so Lisa's first. So my first action is actually going to be movement. You need to have two die and you cannot have, you cannot use your die on an action space for a second time. You would have to either buy the black die, which you can purchase with camels or you can only do the action one time that round. But other players can stack their die on top. They just have to pay the cost of their lowest value die. So in this case, I'm first, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to pay $3, so I'll take $2 change, and I'm going to move one time, actually, yes, one time. Because I only have ones, I can only move up to one time. So I am going to move myself down here to Zion, I'm going to get this bonus. It, it, oh, no, sorry, bonus not this stays. one. This one stays. I am going to put my little house here, which means now every round, 
I will be allowed to take one of these bonuses, any one, at the beginning of the round. Well, any of the blue, blue bonuses, bonuses you pointed to a non I apologize. Okay. You also get one as soon as you get there. So you get to take one of the bonuses. Uh, the blue bonuses are great because you get them every round. The other bonuses, the first player there gets to take this uh, top tile Semi-circle. and they get it. Yes. So I'm going to take the $5 um, bonus. Money is quite tight in this game, at least I find. Okay. Uh, just based on how I rolled poorly, I'm going to go ahead and take a one. Down here, if I put my die, it has to be equal than or greater than. You start the game with, in a two-player game, a couple spots are blocked, so you take a, a color of a dice you're not using. So I have ones there. I'm going to put down a one die. I get two camels and my choice of any of the three higher resources, which is gold, silk, and thread. I'm not sure what the exact... Spice. Oh, spice, spice is the brown bag. So I will take a gold. Gold are the hardest and most expensive resources to obtain, and I will take my two camels. That is my turn. So on my turn, I am going to take my four and five and go here. And it goes by the lowest number. So I will end up with three silk. And with that three silk, it allows me to finish my contract. So I'm going to keep one in my storage. I'm going to put three on here. That allows me to complete it. I will get $5 and three victory points. Contracts are worth points at the end of the game if you have the most. So that was three. Okay. On my turn, I'm going to take my five die place it here so basically how she just explained you just go across to wherever your die is you get that bonus you can also take a lesser bonus if you like but i'm going to take the bonus of three of these are these are silk what are these again those are spice spice bags three spice and two dollars now that i have completed that i'm going to trade that in so i can trade in three spice and one camel i can trade that in i get one victory point And I also get to move one space, so I will move one space. When you move off of these bonuses, it does not cost you money, whereas it usually costs you money and multiple dice down here. So typically when you see the contracts come up or some of these other spots on the board that give you movement without having to take the movement action, they're quite valuable. Okay, your turn. All right, well, I have one lowly three left. So... I'm going to use it to actually grab a few contracts. So you're allowed to grab one to two contracts based on the amount of space you have, but I can only go up to the number three. So I can only choose between these ones here. So at this point of the game, I think it's valuable to take this one because it'll give me two different resources to help me fill other contracts. But as soon as I finish a contract, I'd like to not have to waste a die um, to get another contract. So I will take these two. That's it. That is it. Okay, on my turn, I'm going to travel. Now, when somebody beats you to the travel, you have to pay. I'm going to pay. You pay to the bank, though, right? Yes. I have to pay based on the lowest pip uh, when it comes to the travel space to the bank. So since I'm using two twos, I get to travel twice, but I have to pay $2 because I was not the first one there. So I'll pay my $2 to the bank. Now I'll pay $7 uh, as denoted on the board, and I'm going to move twice. I'm going to move this meeple across this space, number one. So that's one movement. Now you see three camels printed on the board. You have to pay that as like a travel cost. So I will pay three camels. And then for my second movement, I'm going to move into here. Since I'm the first person or the first explorer into this town, country, whatever it may be, I get the bonus, which is $5, and I get to put down one of my exploring huts. So I take that out of the game, put it back in the box, or in the divider, and get my $5. So that is that move. You're out of dice. Yes. And you do not have enough dice to buy a black die. You can trade in three dice. Three camels. Three camels to get one black die. The one nice thing this game does have is it has a very nice uh, player guide so you have the bonus actions on one side 
And on the other side, you have a game round and a final scoring as well. If it's the first time you're playing, there is an option for the basic game setup. And that basic game setup actually has a little player card for you. Hmm. Okay, I'm looking for things to do. Since she has already done this, I don't want to have to pay. I only have a three pip die left. I'd have to pay $3 to take that action. Do not want to do that. I don't know if I want three camels, even though three camels is not bad. And I can go here for one of my choice and two camels or there for a uh, for five dollars but I would have to pay three of my five back because there's already a die there so I'm just gonna put my die there I'm gonna collect two camels and I will just take another gold because I'm on that space excellent so at this point it's the end of the round we clear out the contracts Dice. We take back our die. I will be first player. First player order changes based on who was ever to make the last movement, which was myself. Uh, I get a camel at the start of every round, so I'm just going to take it now. And then we roll our die. Let's see where we are. Okay, I had a good roll. So I am one pip short of 15. So I will take a dollar. You also, at the start of the round, get, get to your... pick one bonus. So for my bonus, I am going to take five dollars. So. Money is kind of important, not that important, but you want to have some money to travel. So what she's doing is gathering a plethora of money so that she's able to travel uh, without impunity and then she doesn't have to worry about trying to gather money doing some other actions on these spaces or through fulfilling contracts. Is that roughly what your, your logic Absolutely. is? Absolutely. So a lot of times, depending on where you need to go, there are some very costly um, routes to take, not just camels. Sometimes it's quite uh, expensive just in the route itself that you're taking in addition to the cost you have to pay for that number of spaces mm -hmm. okay so hmm I want to do multiple things but I do not have the dice to do it which uh, is, is pretty much a, a calling card of this game uh, you're frequently going to want to do more than the dice allow. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, you know what, I'm gonna move before Lisa does just because I know that she moves all the time. I will spend, let me see what I've got going on here. One, two, Between a rock and a hard place. You know what? I'm not going to move. I'm going to try some different things this round. I'm going to put down a six. I can grab two contracts. I'm going to grab this contract, which you get the bonus of the highest contract you choose. So I'm going to take that. That will get me $2. I could have also chosen two camels. And I will take this contract as well. Everything else will slide down. It's expensive to use a six for it, but that you're contract is pretty good. You're getting a movement for it. Once I fulfill it, yes. yes. Okay. All right. Done. So for my turn, I need, I'm in desperate need of some camels. So I'm going to take five camels. Camel me up. Okay. If you're on Amazon, you'd go to Camel, Camel, Camel. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. Anyway, he thinks he's funny. Oh, I think it. All right. All right. There's a one. I'm going to put it here because I'm trying to gather some gold for some of my contracts. There's a gold and two more camels. I'm going to take a big three camel and throw another one back in for change your turn all right well i'm in need of some gold um but this is the best way for me to get it so i will take two more camels and a gold please you want two, sorry two camels and a gold yes one, please two and one okay bump 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 gold. okay now I can trade in two camels in this game 
to get to go up one pip. One pip. <sighs> I'm going to do it. I think it's worth it. So I'm going to trade in two camels. This five will become a six. And now I'm going to take both sixes and go there and get four of the silk. Are, the silk. Okay. And, and, then, well, well, and then now I'm going to do stuff. One second. Not done yet. So I'm going to get four silk. So this is probably giving away what I'm doing, but I'm going to put them there and there. Okay, I have fulfilled my movement contract. So three gold, two silk, two camel. It gives me one movement and nine victory points. So I will take nine victory points, which is, I think, one of the highest amongst all of these. And I get a movement. So this guy is going to go here. I will get three camels because I was the first person to that space. And I will get to put down my hut. Now, it's hard to put down huts, but if you can get to putting down, you have nine huts. If you can put down, I guess, eight of them, you get five victory points. If you put down all nine, you can get up to 15 victory points. Not easy to do, but that is a game that a lot of people will play if they have my character because they can move around the board with two different people. It and just you makes don't, it easier to move. And you don't always have to take the expensive action. There's also one character that literally lets you drop a house everywhere that you pass through. So if you're doing mm -hmm. these big uh, six movements, well, it's only costing you $18, but you can travel quite extensively across the board and you can drop one along the way. But with that character, you have, one of the things is you have to have more houses down to get your bonus points. Yes. All right. So for myself, I'm going to take my four and I am going to take three spice bags, please. Individual ones if possible. Not silk. Yes, dear. One, two. You just call them the, the, the brown ones. It makes it easier. On, on no, 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 no. You don't play like that? It's all about theme. Otherwise, they could give me cubes. Okay. I'm going to trade in three camels to get a black die. I'm going to roll said black die. It's a four. And now I'm going to basically waste all of my... Uh, I wanted to... I only have four camels left. I do have the money to do double travel, but I'm not going to, even though that makes sense. They're both going to go there. I'm overpaying like crazy. I'm going to pay $3 to do one movement, even though I had better dice. And that also cost me three camels because of the camels printed on the board. The one advantage and the reason I did it and wanted to get it done by the end of this turn was I get $5 right away and I will get that $5 at the start of my next turn. All right, well, unfortunately, I'm one turn late, um, but I am going to do two movement. So $2 to the bank. So $2 to the bank for that. Two movement is an additional seven. So that's nine in total. And I am traveling here. I get a black die right out of the gate. Oh, let me put my little sh house down. You're going to curse her. My chateau is what I was going to ah, say. Ah, chateau, okay. All right, and with my... Four. If I trade in a camel and a silk, I can get $8. Now that I'm here, I can use this action. So I'm going to do that, trade in a silk and a camel, and I'll take $8. You've got a money strategy going on here. I normally don't play the money uh, strategy, and I am always poor. So this game, I decide to do something different. Okay. That is the end of the round. So dice will return. In a two-player game, there are only three of these black dice available. There you go. I get a $5 bonus because <clears throat> I am up here. I also get a camel because of my character. Lisa gets to choose what her bonus will be. <clears throat> and she will be first player because she moved last. So do you know what bonus you'd like? Um, I'll take... Two not the same. Okay. So I'll take a gold mm -hmm. and a... Actually, no, I'll take $5. I lied. Okay. And you've restocked that. So the game goes quickly We're through two rounds of our five. But that's nice, too. Not every game needs to go for... And finally, and I have rolled... 
more than 15. So you're first. No, no you're first. You're I am first. Last. I did travel last. Well, isn't that nice? All right, then. Well, I do want to travel one time, so I'm just going to get it over with. I'll pay my three camels, and I will just take three camels back, please. Okay. So I am going here. And with that, my bonus was three camels, so I paid them and I got them right back. Huh. And I have to pay three dollars <laughs> for my movement. So my three dollars. Okay. Hmm. Well, I am all of a sudden very camel poor. I'm going to go ahead, put a six there, and get six camels. I'm starting to think that wasn't a very good decision, but nonetheless, I made it. Okay, your turn. I am going to take one camel, one dollar, and three silk. Okay. Hmm. I put a four here, and I will get three of the whatever those are. Spice. All right. Well, to start my turn, I have completed my contract. So I get three camels, and I get a contract of my choice. So I will take this one. Now for my turn, I only have one lowly little die left. So, I'm gonna go here, and I will take a gold and two camels, please. Are you just gonna cash in right away? No, I don't have enough. Oh, I do have enough spice. So then why not? Oh, and I did not. Where did that contract go? That I just finished. Mm. Right here. So my last one, I got five points. This one, I'm going to, because I'm getting a gold and two camels, right there, I now get one additional movement. Um, and I do points. still need to pay the travel cost. If it's on the board. So, I do have to pay my three camels to go up there. Okay. So, that goes in your fulfilled contract. Yes. You turn them upside down. Yes. I just... No worries. Okay. So, I didn't anticipate her taking that. Well, I kind of did. But I should have gone up here and maybe changed my turnaround. Um, so, I'm... I don't want to say I'm running out of time, but I've got to get going. So, one thing I do need to do, oh, this is really eating a lot of dice away. I'm gonna go there, it's gonna cost me three bucks. And two camels, and I'm gonna move one space. I'm gonna go there, I get a contract of my choosing as the bonus, and I get to put down a house. So spoiler alert, I actually needed to go to this city. So I do get a contract. Looking at what I have, this is going to be my best contract. It's gonna give me a black die and it's going to give me some flexibility. So that is that turn. Now, I assume this allows me to multiply this. Is, would you say this is correct? Two not the same per one movement? Yes. So I gotta get moving. So I'm gonna trade in Two silk and two spice. I'm going to get one back. And a five die there to move twice. So I'm going to move two spaces out of there. Because I just had to get trucking along if I'm going to meet my criteria. <clears throat> okay. I'm out of dice. I've been very inefficient. But sometimes this happens. And that right. is the round. Okay, so we will wipe. So we'll wipe.
we'll get our once we wipe and get ourselves reorganized we'll take our bonuses so right now i have a bonus of any kind and i have three camels so i'll take my three camels you're good with getting that hand out yes and then i'll take a uh, five dollars please all right i took five dollars because i get five dollars uh based on my bonus up there and she took her three camels okay I was the last to travel. You were. I was. So we have First two we have rounds left. Whew. This is the nicest roll I've had. Okay. I will roll up myself. Ooh, big roll. Okay. It's a good roll for me. All right. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but I'm going to take Whew. all these dice over here. This gives me three gold and a movement. So I'm going to take three gold. I'll take a big gold. In one movement, I have to pay three. But I get to come over into Beijing. Uh, and that's seven victory points, which is a very nice bonus for me. Okay, your turn. All right, I'm taking two fives. Okay. I'm taking $12, so I'm going to move four times. With that, I'm going to need to pay three camels. So I'm going one, two, three, four into Moscow. Okay. We only have one more round after this. So keep that in mind. I'm going to put a four there and get three spice bags. I'll take them in the small ones. One, two. Your turn. Mm-hmm. All right. Trading in a three big gold for three small gold. Just before it's gone, I'm gonna take this. I'll take one gold and two camps. Okay. Okay. On my turn, I'm gonna pay three camels to get a black die. Rolled a two. Okay. I'm going to take said two. I'm going to put it there. I'll take one of the purple, which are silk, I guess, and two camels. Mm -hmm. Okay, your turn. Mm. Uh -oh. I'm in a bit of a rock and a hard place. I know what I need to do, but it's going to cost me a significant amount of money. All right. So it's going to cost me $5 to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, I can't yeah. because I cannot put my own color in the same place. Nope. All right, so in that case, I am going to... You could try to get a black die and roll really well. <sighs> so, really, I will take a black. Wow. No, oh, that was not the roll you wanted. I'll pay one to re-roll. Whoa, 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 you can do that. Mm -hmm. Re-roll. Oh, okay. Four. All right. Now you so, bump it up. So I'm going to go here. You don't get a movement out of that. You get I'm not going oh, okay. for... Actually, I can pay three camels. Two camels to go up one. But then I cannot move. Why can't you move? I need to get three camels. So, that's fine. I'm just going to take three gold, please. That's your turn? You also have to pay the bank for doing that action. Four bucks. I thought you wanted to move. Otherwise, it's a... Not I need a gold as move. well. Okay, I'm going to go over here. Trade two not the same. I can go trade an expensive gold and a spice. And I'm going to move once down into here. I get my house. Since I got there, I get a bonus. I'm going to take the three... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to take three camels. I was going to take three camels, but instead I'm going to take uh, two not the same. So I'm going to take a silk... And I'm going to take, let's see here, silk and I'll, I'll take a gold. 
collecting gold. All right. We done? Yes, I'm done. Are you done? Okay. I am all out. Fresh out. So this is our last round. So anything we want to finish, it's now or I, never. I was last to travel, correct? Because I just won. Yes. So I will be first. Ooh, and I have some of the lousiest dice known to man. So. Well, you get a bonus. So you get three camels. Three camels and five dollars, please. So you'll take the five dollars? Yes, I will. You don't want the bonus resources? No? You can choose. But if you want money, have money. Okay. I'm going to take five dollars. I do not have a choice. But I do have a choice over here. And I'm going to take an additional silk and an additional additional spice as my bonuses. Now I'm going to roll my five dice. Whew! It's a good roll. Okay. So, I don't have a lot left to do in terms of my movements. So the first thing I'm going to do on my turn is I'm going to fulfill this contract over here by Two camels, two spice, two silk. I will get a black die and five victory points. Can I have five victory points, please? And then I get a black die. I have rolled a four with it. It is still my turn. Going to go over here and grab six camels. This gives me flexibility. Your turn. I'm going to go here and take this one. Okay. Done? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to move. Let me double check this. I'm going to move twice. That cost me $7. And I'm going to move this way. So it's going to cost me four of my six camels I just brought in. So now I'm back down to two lowly camels. I'm going to move one, two. I get to put down a house. And I get three victory points because I made that space. I went this way. Um. But nice try. <clears throat> okay. I am done. Your turn. So sometimes it may not be worth it to do certain things. The movement and getting to every city that you want, that are on your cards, may make you lose too many other points in different areas. Um, so sometimes it's just not, not worth it overall. So for myself, I am going to... Pay three camels. To move up a pip. Two camels. So I'll give you back one. Yes, please. And I didn't even need to do that, but I did it anyway. I would like three spice bags and two dollars. Um, okay, I'm going to need a spice bag and change. Ah! How many camels? Two? Yep. All right. So I get nine points for this tile. Nine. And I get two resources. Um, so of these resources, I am going to take a gold and a spice. Is that a spice? Yes. Okay. Done? I am tout fini. Hmm. Okay. Well, since it's still here, I'm going to go there, get two camels. As 
well as one of my choice. I think I will take this spice bag. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to trade in three camels. Oh, I had a whole three here. Oh, well. Three camels and uh, a gold, a spice, and a silk to gain six victory points in a contract. Can I have six victory points, please? Contract. I will take this contract Oops, we... as my bonus. Okay. Your turn. All right. I'm gonna pay three camels to get a black die. Ooh. And I rolled myself a six. Let's said six and my four. No, that doesn't make sense. Originally, what I was going to do is go after these. Um, so maybe I still give that a try. Um, but I'd have to use the black dye, unfortunately. So I will. You but don't want to spend six, six bucks. Yeah. Well, well. Why not just use the four? Because I can't put it on top of myself. Oh. I got the black dye just for that purpose. Well, what else are you using your money for? If I want to move. But I don't. So. I'll go here, spend my six dollars, and hope that I can complete this one. I already have the spice bag and the gold. My turn? Mm-hmm. A waste of five there. I need two camels. So I'm gonna take two camels and one additional spice. Now I'm gonna trade in two gold Spice, silk, and three camels. Just all I had to my name. That will get me five dollars and seven victory points. Can I have uh, seven victory points, please? And I also get five dollars. Okay, your turn. So I'm at a point where I am camel poor. Um, I'm surprised you didn't take the camel with your one and twos. I would have been. I was. I would going have been pushed next, if you had done that. But I wanted to do this. So. Oh, that's a shame. I can pay for and get four, but that's not going to let me finish both contracts. So I'm now at a point where I'm finishing one, and I will not be finishing the other. Um, so I will take my four, and I will go here. I will pay my four dollars. So can I get one dollar and change? And I will take my four camels. So my four camels... We'll finish off this one. Um, I'll just get a camel change. You get a camel? Well, because I should have gotten four camels and you didn't give them to me. So when get, was that? Just now. Oh. Okay. So I get one camel change. I'll get six points. And I get one of my choice. So I'll take a silk because that at least gets me one step closer. Right now I have one camel. So okay. that card is done, or that contract is done. Okay, my final turn. I was going to make a play to try to get, I only have two houses left. I was going to try to get them all out, but I was in just such a expensive part of the board. It would have been very difficult. So I'm going to take the six. Now for the dice I have, for the house I have, I get a victory point. I assume that's how it works. It doesn't multiply. So I'm going to get six points. Yes. Does that look like it makes sense? That is my highest value play. And for myself... I'm going to go here. Trading this in for three. And it's based small on the number of completed contracts I have. Ones. And I have five. So I will get five points. And then with my last 
little die. I will go here for lack of better things to do. Eight bucks. And take eight dollars. Here, I can give you two and you can give me. And that is That's Marco it? Polo. How many contracts did you finish? I finished five. Two, four, five. So we both tied, neither one of us, or we'd split it. Doesn't matter. Two player game. It, uh, moot point. Uh, I have $20. That's two points. How much money do you have? I have 10. So I get one point. Well, 16, but you get one point. Yes. Yep. Did you meet all of your. I unfortunately did not. I finished three of my cities and only one contract. So with completing three cities in total, I will get six points and I will get four for this one. Unfortunately, I did not make it to Land Zoo. Therefore, I do not get the six. So in total, I gained 10 points. Okay, and you get 10 points for being on Beijing. So seven, eight, nine, 10, correct? Yes. Okay, I am going to get seven points for being on Beijing. So that gets me up to 46. I met all of my locations. Let me double check that. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I did. Uh, so I will get five points for completing this entire route, four points for completing this entire route, and 10 additional points for completing all four. So I will get 19. So four. <clears throat> so the 10 points I lost by not completing my last city did really hurt me. Um, so that would have been an additional 10, so it would have closed the gap um, slightly. As well, not being able to finish that last contract was another 5 points. So 12 points, because you would have won. Uh, yes, 12 points, because I would have won most contracts. So at some point, you need to cut and run and realize I waited too long to decide that I wasn't going to make it to the cities to focus on contracts and other things. Um, really depends on the angle. I shouldn't have been collecting money. I should have been going after camels in that last round. We've played this, this is over 25 times, could be 26, roughly. Uh, I, I would say we love the game. Uh, Absolutely. Plays well at two, played it at four. I don't think we've ever played it at three, but we've played it at four and it plays probably better at four. Uh, yeah, there's always something to do. There's always different routes to take. It, replayability is is great. The only thing that would not be super replayable, at least in two players, is are the characters. I think we can play roughly about four to five of them. There are some that like almost break the game, where you can like choose your dice, and that's more of like a beginner character. We don't play with that. Um, trying to think of something else to say. I don't. Um, know. Overall, great inter player interaction, even at two mm -hmm. players, because the dice um, placement is very competitive even with just two players um you're managing your money you're managing your resources so there's always something to do but you always need to be thinking a couple turns ahead and in a way play the player that you're playing because as he said i love to do travel um so i go there often so when you're budgeting how much your travel is going to cost you um you need to take into account that you may have to additionally pay for whatever pip you're using. So if you were going to travel with two sixes, even though you only want to go two spaces, um, that could cost you a lot of additional money. So it's really managing your die and managing when you're going to take that uh, play, which I find a great reason for this to be replayable. Um, a little bit to teach someone new when they're first starting, just because the actions do change based on the code placement and the bonus placement. So you're not always going to be doing the same thing in the same order. Also the contracts with them disappearing, you can't play in advance. You have to play right now. And if you speed play your die on actions like gold and travel, the other player could have many actions before you get, after you've run out of your die. So that's one thing to be uh, cognizant of. The teach isn't that bad, though. <clears throat> There's a lot going on. It's just more so explaining how movement works and taking other actions. But the iconography, which is everywhere in, in language independent, is very good. And it, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing is, during that first teach, you want to probably give somebody the, the character that they can choose their own die or give them a, a better starter character. Uh, and 
explain these uh, additional bonuses, but that just don't get too hung up on them because that can add a little extra layer of complexity that you probably don't need the first time out. Um, so Lisa, would you say that this game goes a distance? Absolutely, this game goes the distance. Oh, okay. 